But I just hope Leomon doesn't suffer the same fate as all the other Leomons in the past. <laughs> Episode 19 of Digimon Adventure landed this this early this morning and I just finished watching it. So let's crack down to to what I thought about this episode and let's do a quick recap of that episode as well, closing in in as well. So so yeah, so this episode really is continuing off exactly where last week's episode ended because we had a quick recap of what happened last week's episode. With uh, Misako Nozawa, Misako Nozawa doing her narration over what had previously happened, and then we get, then we realise that Sora, Mimi, Koshiro, uh, and Joe ended up back into their real world Tokyo. It's not the fake; it's actually the real world because they bump into Taichi's mother and Hikari at the same time. There, there. Joe went to the police and they did, and he told him everything that happened and they don't believe him. So pretty much, it's a, like a tall tale in the real world of what Joe explained to them by the looks of him. Back in the digital world, Taichi and Yamato bumped into, uh, ran into some more of Devimon goons. This time the mobile fortress Valvemon showed up with Minotauromon being the head honcho. Hancho and they were rescued briefly by Leomon and his and his rebels, who were a Spainmon and a Falcomon Mon, respectively. Riding on Pekmon as well. So so far we have had some introductions to some Digimon Day Digimon Saver Digimon, mainly from Falcomon and and Pekmon. Uh, I think that's what the owl-looking Digimon was called. I can't really remember in Data Squad. Slash Savers. I just can't remember. I think that was right. And Spider-Man, I think, also showed up during the era of Savers Digimon games on the DS. So, so we had those as well to show up. Because uh, with Spider-Man, Spade... And everything, and then we had some of the villain type Digimon henchmen soldiers from Cross War showing up, and then we also had a brief glimpse of Skull Nightmon as well. So we got really a lot of Digimon that were from Digimon Cross War, Savers, the lot that really seemed seemed a very good good mix of Digimon from other seasons now showing up into this new adventure series series. So during this they teamed up, Leomon showed up as well, he gave him some of the food, and then they go and infiltrate uh, Valvemon inside to get the cargo that they've got. While fighting this, they fight a Bullmon and everything like that, and they then rescue the cargo, and the cargo turns out to be Takaru, Yamato's younger brother, and that is the, definitely the surprising feature, because... Last we checked, we didn't, we don't even know how Takaru got into the digital world. All we know is last episode when they were fo fighting Hogio Jomon, Mon, he and Hikari got, got collected feathers, and then Omega Mon showed up. That's what happened last week, and but then after that, we don't even know what happened to Takaru. So, so we don't know how, no realize how he managed to get into the into the digital world. But other than that, this this episode was really fun. I love the action sequences with Leomon, and I love that how they uh, choreographed the fights with him and Minotauromon near the end of the episode. They were really great. Seeing a lot of the other Digimon fro that appeared originally in other Digimon seasons was really great as well. Definitely some of the Digimon from Savers because I really enjoyed Savers. Savers, not Savers, and I did enjoy Cross Wars for the most part. So. Those two were the types that I really did enjoy, and the stories of those were really, really fun as well. As well, and it just continues on being an interesting story arc here, definitely of where this is going now. Because we also saw a glimpse of Angimon being tied up as well. So I'm curious about what's going to be happening next episode. If if he's going to be like an 
Well, we all know Devimon's meant to be the evil counterpart of De uh, of Angemon. So, so I don't know how a dark Angemon's going to work because a dark Angemon is Devimon. Mon. So, we have to wait and see what next week's episodes ends up being. But other than that, this episode was really great. But I just hope Leomon doesn't suffer the same fate as all the other Leomons in the past. Now, if you don't know, Leomon, whenever Leomon shows up, Leomon tends to have a very bad trait. Or gets given a very bad rep. Even though he's like a very cool character, he's a very popular character, uh, Digimon as well. And he's one of my favourite Digimon. He always seems to get the end of the stick and always dying. And it, this trend started all the way back to to the original uh, 1990s adventure series. So anytime there's a Leomon that appears, it doesn't matter if it's the same, the exact same type of Leomon. Or if it's a, like Mad Leomon or any other form of Leomon. Mon, Mon. They always end up seeming to be getting the same fate as, as any other Leomon. Where they end up... Dying. Well, I think is kind of saddening at the same time because it really is sad that Leomon gets pushed to the side and dies. So I'm hoping this Leomon breaks the trend. I'm hoping he doesn't suffer the same fate. Fate. So, so I just hope that's the case. But other than that, this episode has been a very fun episode, a very enjoyable episode, and I really did enjoy it. Enjoy it as I did last week's as well. Minus the whole Omega Mon showing up thing, because I'm a bit more of a sceptical on that still. But I did enjoy this episode a lot more, and um, it's nice to see. But it did, but I understand where the story is going, so it's understandable why it was slightly the Taichi and Yamato show at the moment. But hopefully everybody gets back together, because the full series is meant to be the chosen ones. The chosen eight Digidestined. And everything. So hopefully that will show up later on as well. But other than that, I've been your host, Kai from Kaizo Tega Corner. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya. Another great episode, guys, don't you think? And hopefully Leomon doesn't suffer the same fate as he did in any other seasons. Regardless of the thing. But like always, you can check out what appears on the screen here. You can check out my previous review, episode review. You can check out my previous uh, manga chapter review. You can even check out my channel and... And everything like that. Don't forget to check out my affiliate links that I post down in the video description down below. Check those out as well. But also, don't forget if you're current or a current subscriber, don't forget to hit that subs uh, like button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Then click the bell notification. And then click all to keep up to date with all your videos. All your videos. All my videos. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. See ya.